Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I love romantic comedies, and I was just thinking about Notting Hill. I don't know why. I wasn't just thinking about that movie in particular, but romantic comedies. I love romantic comedies. My favorite moment, usually in the romantic comedy, is when the per when the person realizes they're in love with the other person, and then they have to run after them and figure this shit out, and bag and grovel, and hopefully the person takes them back. I hitched did it, and um, there's a lot of them. But it's cute. It gets you. It gets you. Gets you going, right? It gets your, oh, gets your heartstrings going. But I do love Notting Hill, but especially the the chase scene at the end, where I don't know, chase me when he when he realizes that he made a mistake in telling her to kick rocks, right? He was like, you know, I'm better off just being me and not being involved with the beautiful, rich superstar. And his roommate, it's, see, romantic comedies, what I love about romantic comedies, good ones, are, are the ensemble, the, the character actors that they put inside these, these movies, right? His flatmate in this movie, who I love, he's done like pirate radio, he's in The Replacements, he was the kicker. Rice, I don't know what his name is, it's, he's Scottish, go figure. Welsh, Welsh, yeah, he's Welsh. Anyway, the point is, is he makes that movie just by his ridiculousness. My favorite part of the movie is at the end when they're all looking at that Monet or whatever the, the painting in the restaurant. All of them, they're just looking at it like, wow, that's the real painting, right? He's like, yeah. And his flatmate comes in, Rice comes in, and he's just like, you fucking twat. Or so I forgot how, you're just fucking awesome. How, wh what are you thinking, you idiot, right? And it's then that moment when he clicks and he realizes that he just really fucked up. And, and he's like, can we get there? Can we figure this out? Can we, you know what I mean? Then the, the chase ensues. I love that kind of shit, right? But his, his flatmate made that movie. He was ridiculous. But anyway, that's what I was just thinking earlier. I just, you know, my channel's not going to be just about being emperors and empresses. It's, you know, it's the little things. We have to, we have to exist, right? We have to enjoy this world. We can't just sit in some isolation all the time, much, which is what I'm doing at the moment. And, you know what I mean? We have to exist. We have to laugh. We have to cry. We have to have sex eventually. Making love, people. It's making love if you're doing it right. It's not about sex, although I miss it. It's, it's fun. Do it right, people. That's all I'm going to say about that. But it's part of romance. Love. Amore. Mm, I love it. I think that's why I love the Count of Monte Cristo. It's a written, deep down, it's just a romantic. It's a romance. It's about a man who was madly in love with a woman, and then he got betrayed in every fucking way possible, and then he had to fight back and and not be a complete dick about it when he was on top. You know, which is important. Remember that. If, treat you, if people treat you badly in the life, don't take your money and then go back and revenge on them. Just live your life and be happy. And hope that they're not completely miserable because karma usually does the trick anyways it'll take care of that so yeah, that's exciting anyway i love romantic comedies go out and watch them there's some good ones and hitch like i said this the characters what is it james what's his name ah i can't think of his name kevin james there you go he's so awesome and you know what i mean and normally you would not see him with that beautiful blonde but it, it worked because he, he is such a cool fucking person his, his inner beauty was so funny and awesome that it makes, you know, I'm telling you, man. We could, t we could talk about looks and all that stuff, but the inner beauty is so important. I've see, I've met women who somebody might consider like maybe a five or six, but they were a fucking ten just because of their personality was so amazing. It's like, how do you not love this person, right? That's And that's important. So love yourself. Find that love inside and glow, and then, you know, you'll be sexy. Feeling, if you're feeling like a six, you're gonna be a ten, baby. That's all I must say. So just love yourself and rock it. I'm gonna leave it on that. That's good. That's good. Okay. I love you. God loves you. In the universe is crazy about you. Watch them comedies, baby. They make you laugh and make you cry. But it makes you feel, baby. Let's feel good. Goodbye. Okay,